Hey everybody, this is Paul with Collector's Escape talking today about books, specifically author Robert Silverberg. Robert Silverberg is an American author born in 1935, to my knowledge still alive, and his writing was in fantasy and science fiction. If you love those two genres, you'll know a lot of times fantasy and science fiction will kind of mingle together. Sometimes it's just wizards and dragons over here in fantasy. Sometimes it's just robots and spaceships, but sometimes they kind of intermingle. And I think a lot of the books that Robert Silverberg wrote had a little bit of that mingling, which is often really cool. Now with Robert Silverberg, one of the neat things for me as a Pulp Fiction lover, we're always talking about the shirts and the postcards we sell because we love these images. He was a big Pulp Fiction writer. Be more, uh, he uh, wrote a lot of really cool episodes. Some of the images we've shown to you in the past, he uh, wrote for science fiction fantasy. He wrote uh, for science fiction quarterly. He wrote uh, the last episode in Fantastic Stories called The Guardian of the Crystal Gate and uh, really wrote a lot of that Pulp Fiction. And we talked about those writers that were just writing like a million words a year, over a hundred thousand words a day, a month. Just, I mean, that is like, shh, that's just going. <laughs> They're typewriters. In many cases, they wouldn't tear off the paper. They would just run it reams out of time because they didn't want to stop. He was one of those guys. And then after transitioned into books. Uh, another interesting thing about Robert Silverberg, a personal thing, was that he made a bunch of investments really young in his life. And by the time he was 30, he was rich. They call it independently wealthy, which means he didn't need to work. He, he was a perfect place for a writer to be. He owned uh, big giant properties, even mansions in New York that were later uh, taken by the governors of, of New York. He had money, a great place to be to do writing. Well, let's look at some of the covers of his books and uh, let you tell me what you think. Please comment below if you know about Robert Silverberg and your thoughts on his books. But here's a... Uh, unfamiliar territory. Here's the cover for Unfamiliar Territory. And it kind of mixes the fantasy with um, the science fiction. This is a book about a trip for two to the end of time. Here's another book, A, a Time for Changes, which I like these covers of this kind of genre of covers. It's not a doll book cover, but very uh, catches your attention with uh, as much to look on what's happening in the uh, background as what's happening in the foreground. The Tower of Glass by Robert Silverberg. Here's another, The Silent Invaders. Now I purchased this Robert Silverberg lot through eBay. And I'm going to have a, a follow-up video. We're going to talk about how the best way to buy books if you're a book collector on eBay because there's sort of a strategy on how you can get the most books or the least cost per book when you're bidding. Robert Silverberg, Downward to the Earth. Make sure I get that up here where you can see that really good. Downward to the Earth. I like that cover. I really do. Many people that I've talked to, and of course this one was endorsed by Isaac, Isaac Asimov, but this The Book of Skulls is a book that uh, must have had pretty good momentum in its day because I talked to people that have, when they mention Robert Silverberg, they mention this book, The Book of Skulls. Here is... The Stochastic Man. Here's 
Another one, The Man in the Maze. The Man in the Maze. Next is The Conglomeroid Cocktail Party. The Conglomeroid Cocktail Party. Those little elephant-like egg creatures and then the cat-like alien creature. Now we will get and we will seek out all of Robert Silverberg's books. We know there's going to be a bunch of them. This was just the beginning, but we wanted to show you that beginning in case you find interest in Robert Silverberg or in case you've seen a book or two and wanted to see some additional ones uh, that he has. There's a lot more than that, but uh, we're filling our library here. You see lots of empty shelves and it wraps all the way around here. Uh, capacity for a minimum of 3,500 books. We'll, we're probably will go further than that, but we're trying to get the best, the coolest, the neatest, the best writers. And so tell us about more. If you haven't heard us talk about one, uh, tell us about a book. Ron Silverberg was just a name that was mentioned out and also then I found it across uh, looking at other books. And uh, we love getting the heads up on that stuff. Lastly, talking about Pulp Fiction, we just got in some new postcards that we're sending out to people. Uh, these are postcards from the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. And we have the links below for them. They're really cool, about a buck a piece. They're not very expensive. And if you want to send somebody a postcard that's like nothing they're gonna you're gonna find at Walmart something that has your own individual love and flair for science fiction if you have a science fiction uh, lover out there you want to say hey to postcards like these will catch their attention and I guarantee you from my past people are gonna say the first thing they're gonna say is where'd you find that where'd you get that and maybe you can lead them on as well it's how we fund ourselves on this program but at the same time how we share amazing science fiction images that most people, unless you were alive in those decades, you've never seen before. We come back, our next time we're going to talk about, we plan to talk about eBay and how you buy books on eBay to help those who are collecting maximize your purchases. My name is Paul for Collector's Escape. Have a great day.